YouTube family, it's Shauna Marie back again with you doing another video. Today we're going to be discussing how I pass and ace my inspection test. Alright, so this is how it normally goes. When the state inspectors come out, they normally just pop up. But now they have a new system to where they'll give you a call two to three weeks before they come back out. And they will let you know when they're coming, they'll schedule an appointment, and they'll go ahead and come out and inspect each and last salon suite or just the salon in full. So, we just got inspected two days ago, and the inspectors came in, two people together, and there's 35 suites here, and they started on each end of the hallway and worked their way around until they got to the mill. And when they did that, it kind of put everybody like, oh my God, scrambling, trying to find out how they were gonna make sure their room were up to date. So there's a couple of things that you need to know when passing the state inspection for TDLR. This is what it normally looks like. I don't know if there might be a blare. I can go ahead and take it out of the frame for you all if you don't mind. But it was very, very stressful. It was very intense. Um, but yet, it was, wasn't was anything that you can't achieve. So of course it's gonna be all folded a little bit because I just had it in this frame that I just broke. Oh. <laughs> but here is the state board inspection. This is what it looks like. And it has the seal from TDLR here and this is exactly what it looks like okay and normally when you have something wrong it will go right here in this section here and it will tell you that corrections are needed but here when it says no corrections are needed that means that you have ace the inspection test so we're gonna leave that glass down there until I'm done but a couple of things that you need to know when passing the inspection test are you must have your mini salon suite licensing in your room at all times if you work at certain salon suites they will make you have a individual salon mini suite license in order to operate business the reason why is because they do not want to be held accountable for anything that goes wrong within your suite. So, if they do not have you to have a mini salon suite license, then they are liable for anything that goes wrong. And as a whole company, they can be sued for any stylist or barber or esthetician that may do anything wrong to a client um, that is unsanitized or in unsanitary situations, um, any kind of infections or anything. That is one big thing that you need to know. So you need to know the difference between a mini salon suite license and just having a regular licensing to operate your salon. I have both. I have a salon license that was granted to me by TDLR from going to school for 1500 hours and then I have a mini salon suite license that was granted to me by TDLR for renting overhead in a suite all right step two you must label everything when they come out I'll give you guys an example of what I mean by labeling everything All right, so what I mean by labor and everything, they want you to label everything. It must say trash only. So you know that it's only trash. Sorry if it's kind of blurry. But you must label everything. You cannot not label that. You have to label your clean supplies. I have them in one bucket, like how you learned in, in hair school. You must have lids on everything to secure everything from dirty to clean you must have a lid on your trash can that says trash only clean combs only 
you must have it have everything separated your room must be neat remember you can't have any rugs so i had this beautiful um fairfax rug that was so pretty and it was great i had to take my rug up because it was against compliance and code for tdlr so i definitely took it up before they came i have not put it back down because i am not trying to get fined um there were a lot of people that did not pass their state inspection test and the government will come back out in two weeks to re-inspect their rooms so when they re-inspect their rooms the things that were on that list they're going to go by that list that was stated to them and they're going to check everything to make sure everything was right on that list the second time around now if the second time around you do not change the things that were put on the list then you will be fined they can give you a fine from 500 up so you want to make sure that you are in compliance because you can jeopardize your licensing. You can get warnings. You can get basically write-ups with TDLR. And that does go on your licensing. You want nothing but good. So you want to always see nothing in this area. That means you aced the TDLR inspection test. Because usually they don't even tell you when they're coming. They just pop up and you're in the middle of a client and you're like, uh, um, hi, what are you doing here? And they're like, stop everything. I am the state. I am TDLR and I come to inspect your room. Um, I am such and such. Hi, nice to meet you. And that's how it normally goes. But now they're starting to call you guys and call salons and stylists and let them know ahead of time that they will be there so that you can get yourself together because they don't really want to come out and write you up. They just want you to be in compliance to their codes, okay? So remember, always keep your things in clean boxes that have, or clean containers that have clean only. Keep your trash in a closed compartment trash can to say trash only. You want to keep your towels away from your cleaning supplies or in the cabinet up here. Um, you want to keep it away from the cabinet up here that has chemicals, coloring, de developers. You don't want to be at nowhere near developers, coloring, cleaning supplies, anything that can harm the skin. You definitely want to keep it in its own cubby. And I have a certain spot to where I keep my towels and my capes. And you can revert back to my last video so that you can see exactly where I put these things at, okay? Um, another thing that you want to make sure that your room stay clean at all times, that you are cleaning your supplies, that you're cleaning your combs, you're cleaning your, your scissors, you're cleaning your shears, you're cleaning... Um, you're pressing comb. You want to make sure that you're cleaning your flat irons and that you're sanitizing these things daily so that you don't cause infection, irritation of the scalp or irritation of the skin for any kind of client, okay? Because you can be sued. You can be sued. You can be sued. And people are really suing out here. It is real, okay? So I definitely am going to come back to you guys with more tips more beauty um videos more um tutorials i'll be back with things that you should do and should not do in your business and i definitely will teach you guys how to start up your business and the failures that i ran into and the roadblocks that occurred with me when owning my own business it was nice to see you guys thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you guys on my next video.